Today I will show you how to change the model pose using a puppet work tool in Photoshop, so let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and today I will show you what I said in the intro, so let's jump into the Photoshop. For this tutorial we will use this interesting photo manipulation that I did few months ago, it's the epic underwater battle between this sea monster Buxter, let's meet the Buxter here, and the Octoman, alright. Before you can use the puppet warp tool to change the model pose you need to do one more thing and that's to extract the model out of the background, otherwise it won't be so good. Alright, for time saving I already did that, as you can see here the Octoman is free to attack, <laughs> okay, and the boxer here, it's free, it's extracted out of the background. Let's select the Octoman first and go to the edit, puppet warp and load the puppet warp mesh. There are a few options uh, for this mesh, you can make density of this mesh uh, with more points or with fewer points, let's leave it for normal, because we don't need so many points for this uh, example. You can expand the mesh or you can shrink the mesh if you like it, but we will leave on two pixels like default value and you can hide and show the mesh. I usually like to hide the mesh because it's too distracted. I don't want to be distracted by these triangles here. Alright, let's hide the mesh. Okay, now let's put the first pins on the subject and those pins are acting basically like anchor points. Alright, let's put the first pin here on the belly button and if you move that pin, you're moving the whole Octoman like you're using a basically moving tool in Photoshop. But if you put another pin and move, let me unzoom it a little bit, and move that pin, you can stretch or shrink the subject in Photoshop like Oh, I will kill you, I will kill you, go there! Oh. Or you can rotate the subject around that pin. Alright, if you want to delete that pin, if you don't like the position of that pin, just press and hold Alt or Option key and delete it. Or you want to delete this pin, that's nice. Alright, let's put another pin and another pin and for example let's put a pin somewhere here. And those two pins are now like anchor points and they are fixed and this pin you can now move. And as you can see, you can completely change the pose of the Octoman, like he's, I don't know, reaching for something and then he will attack. Okay, you can delete this point if you want and put some points here and here and here maybe and here. If you put the point here, you can change the angle of the arm or if you delete that point and press and hold Alt or Option key, same like you want to delete the point, but go just outside of the pin, you have this rotation option and you can rotate the arm. As you can see, like you can put the arm a little bit lower and then you can choose this pin and rotate this arm and you can completely change the pose. You can even change the pose of these tentacles here Let's put the pin here and maybe here and let's rotate this a little bit like so and maybe change this like so or even completely on the other way. You can just play, be creative. For example, you can rotate this arm and put it like so. And now you have here this, these options. You can put the arm behind or put the pin behind or in the front of other pins. If you put here like behind and then you say alright I will kill you with only one hand. I will fight you with only one, one hand. Wow, I'm so brave. Alright and that's it. If you don't like this you can just again erase it and it will be again in default position. Alright when you're finished with the puppet work points, when you're finished with the posing just go here and press this OK button and the model will be reposed, like before and after, before and after, before and after. Alright, now let's jump to the sea monster and change his pose. Okay, let's select the Buxter layer here, go to the edit, puppet warp and now we are in puppet warp dialog here, you can 
see show mesh, hide mesh, we will hide the mesh and place few points here on the Buckster itself. And for example, let's use this pin to rotate his head. And let's say, I will eat your spear or, oh, you're killing me. Or do whatever you want, make him dancing like Select this pin and rotate and oh, let's dance. Oops, this is not like dancing. Or maybe you can say, let's shake hands. Let's make peace, give me your hand, shake my hand. Or do whatever you want. You can actually use these uh, pu uh, puppet war pins to do something like clickify. For example, you can put the pin here and just move this, move this, make him a little bit fatter, like so. No, he's... A little bit bigger, better. You can delete this if you don't like, or change something like so. Or if you don't like that, just delete it. It's really easy to delete all pins that you don't want to be here. Or you can change his pose completely, like moving his tail here, you know, like so. And when you're finished, when you're done with that, just go here and press this OK button and now you have completely different pose of the boxer and of the octoman here there are really a lot of different applications what you can do with puppet warp tool in photoshop for example if you have a straight rope you can make it circular you can make it wavy you can even write the letters uh, with that rope you can even tie a knot on a rope you, all you need is just a little bit of practice it's really powerful tool all right guys if you have any questions at all please ask them in the comment below i will be glad to answer them i hope that you like this tutorial if you find it Helpful, please like it, share it, subscribe it, and see you next week in the next episode. Bye-bye.